Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another tutorial for the iPhone 5S users and above regarding the Touch ID sensor. Now this tutorial is going to show you how to deactivate the Touch ID at night or whenever you want, just in case someone might want to sneak up on you and drag your finger across the Touch ID in order to unlock your phone and get through your stuff. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do before we go ahead and do anything else is we're going to have to go ahead and launch up Cydia. So once we're there, we're going to go ahead and add the source, which will be on the screen as well as in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. Once you're done adding it, go ahead and search and search up Activator. So check in and making sure you got the right one you have. It should be Activator by Ryan and the version should be 1.9.6 Beta 1. And once you have that installed and resprung, let's go ahead and launch up the settings panel. Now for this to work, obviously, you must have some fingerprints inside your phone and saved whatever name you have it under. So once that's all situated, let's scroll down into your tweaks and go in and launch Activator. And the first step we're going to do is we're going to add a profile. So as you can see, we already have default and we're going to add a new one and it's going to be called Night or whatever you would prefer. So once you've made Night, let's go ahead and click on it, make sure the check mark is there. Swipe back and then let's go to the lock screen because this is where the whole entire thing is going to take place. So once you're in there, keep on scrolling down until you see the Touch ID activator gestures. So for example, we have my fingerprint match, so we want to click it and scroll all the way down until you find System Actions right here. And once you're here, you want to go ahead and scroll down until you find Sleep Button to simulate the press of a sleep button. Once you're there, you might get an assignment warning, just press OK. And continue that through every single other thumbprint that you have. So just scroll down, go under, which I passed, System Activation. And we're going to go to sleep button, OK, and go back and keep repeating this for how many thumbprints you have. Now once you're done with the Touch ID fingerprint matches, so we're going to go ahead and scroll down just a little bit until you see Touch ID fingerprint sensor. So you're going to see double press, single press, single press, and slide up, and you're going to do the same thing with these three options. Alright, so just to know that you guys did choose the option and set an activated gesture, you're going to see that the text is a lot darker. So as you can see down here where two fingers slide in gesture, it's a lot grayer and up here is more black. So once you're done with all your fingerprints, we're going to go ahead and swipe back and we're going to go to anywhere now. And these several steps are very important to follow along. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on build up top and we're going to see a whole bunch of brand new events that you could choose from. So we're going to scroll down to scheduled and we're going to choose whatever time of day that you want this activator to switch back into day mode, which is going to be six o'clock for me. Setting this determines what time you want your phone to actually go back into normal mode so you can start using your Touch ID again. So once you're done, go ahead and press save. And we're gonna press done. You're gonna scroll down and find that time that you just did, which is gonna be right here, six o'clock. We're gonna click into that. And then we're gonna scroll down a little bit. And then you're gonna find profiles right here. And then you're gonna click on default. Make sure it's on default, not night. So once you're there, you're now done with what happened during the night. So next thing we wanna do is we're gonna go back down to profiles. We click on default and now we're going to choose what time at night we want to start the activation so the touch ID will not work. So we're going to go on anywhere, you want to go up top on build, you want to scroll down to a time to schedule and you want to do every day and I'm going to do it at about 11.30 which is about the time when I lay down in bed and once you have the correct time that you want preferably in order to switch to night mode we're going to go ahead and press save, done and then we're going to scroll down until we find a time that we just made. So now we're going to have two times. Just click on the time that you just made. So the 1130 one for me. And then you're going to scroll down until you find the profiles. And then we're going to click on night profile. So once you're there and you want to make sure that it does work, we're going to go ahead and go to profiles. We're going to switch over to night mode. We're going to shut off our device. Turn it back on. And once it shuts off like that, you now know that it does work. So we're going to test some other fingers. There you go. You can see it works. And I'm going to try my pinky, which I have not put in. There you go, it does work. So now we know that it now works, we are only allowed to enter our passcode, which the thief might not be able to get into. So let's go ahead and unlock our device, and go back to Activator, and then we're going to scroll back down, back to Profiles, and set it back to Day, because it is not that time that you want to choose from. And we're going to set it back to Default, because it is not night for me yet. And you're going to scroll back, and just to make sure that it's working, you want to go and shut off your device, turn it back on. As you can see that the thumbprint does work, and we can unlock our device. So if all that works, you now know that your device is now secure at night for whatever time you have. 
If you have any questions or concerns or any other troubleshooting, go ahead and leave it down in the comments below. And even tweet at me if you also are having trouble at Elite Apple Hacks. So if you like this tutorial, go ahead and leave a like down below and also subscribe to get tutorials just like this in the future as well as tweak reviews and theme reviews and whatever's going on in the jailbreak world. And also and go ahead and follow my Twitter page down below, link is in the description for everything that I just said about subscription and being up to date on the latest tweaks that are going to be released, jailbreaks, when it's going to be released and when I'm planning on doing my next video. So this is it for this episode, this is Elite Apple Hacks signing out.